So I found out that I have to write a six minute orchestra piece score to picture by next Monday. Today is Friday. I found out two days ago, but I had to write a history paper, so I haven't started yet. And for the last two days, I've kind of been panicking. Six minutes of orchestral music scored to picture. The picture is quite abstract and kind of hard to understand, especially if you have no context. I did get in touch with the director that made the animation. They explained it to me a little bit. I think I have a better idea of what it is, but it's still very difficult to understand. And I don't have much time. I have other commitments on Saturday and Sunday, which means I have all of today. Right now it is Friday and it is 1 p.m. I have a composition lesson at 5 in Brooklyn, so that means uh, not that much time to write this piece. Help. And of course, writing a six minute orchestral piece in three days is totally within the normal realm in the film scoring world where you're writing about two minutes every day. But the thing is that because of all my other commitments and stuff, really I only had like a total net amount of 22 hours or so. The time I took out was the pre-existing arrangements that I had and a decent amount of time to sleep because I consider sleep very important. Within those 22 hours, it's not like I'm going to be working non-stop. I need to take breaks, my attention span is not going to be there all the time, I'm going to get stuck, writer's block at some point, I'm going to have to watch the film again, I'm going to have to just lie down and watch some YouTube videos and just take a break and take a breather. I've been trying to keep to a fairly strict uploading schedule where I film on Fridays and upload on Tuesdays, but with this orchestral piece, I don't know if you guys are watching this on Tuesday. Nope. Probably not. I feel like it might be Wednesday or something, but I thought I'd take you guys along for the ride of me writing a six minute orchestral piece for like a 90 piece orchestra or whatever in just like 72 hours. The nice thing about writing for real players is that I don't have to be programming MIDI and I can just sit in the library in peace writing in... I think I'll be writing this one in Dorico. I'm gonna give it a try. Off to my lesson now. I've been composing for a while. I had some issues with video syncing and stuff, so that really slowed me down. But it was like a good minute and a half of music. I don't really like it yet, but we'll see what happens. It's now 10 to 5. I'm gonna be going into my lesson. One hour later. At my lesson, had dinner, my teacher was telling me that I should map out the piece, kind of draw like a little graph or something, so that I really know where I'm going, and that definitely helps a lot. I'm in Brooklyn right now, because that's where his studio is, so I'm gonna go to NYU Tandon, and do some more work in the library here. So after taking my work to my private lesson, I decided everything I had written up to that point would have to go. Please, no! I'm gonna no! scrap it and start again. No! I just didn't like the sound world that I had created. I needed a new, fresh start. No! It wasn't like my private teacher was telling me, oh, this is bad or anything like that. I actually didn't even show it to him. 
and just got some ideas and bounced stuff off of him. So I ended up deciding, starting fresh, new piece. I spent a lot of time just re-watching the film over and over and over again, just trying to get some ideas. Every time I watched, I was brainstorming what I wanted to do, you know, I was drawing stuff graphically, I was thinking of musical notes and melodies and harmonies and stuff. But I found that the more I watched, the more I realized I had no idea what I wanted. And every time I watched, my mind would just get more and more blank. Initially, I had some ideas, I had some sound rolls, and I, as I watched the scenes, I was like, okay, the music's gonna evolve like this, and it's gonna do this here. But eventually, every time I watched, it was just a void that was blank. I was already feeling burnt out. Eventually, I came up with some kind of outline that I could use, and it was really nice to be able to use my fountain pen on some actual paper and have it all in the physical world rather than on a computer screen. Eventually though, I needed something more than just a graph and I needed to actually start writing down some thematic ideas and that's when I decided to level up to my iPad. It's like a little bridge in technology from paper to computer. A lot of people use StaffPad or something like that, but StaffPad files aren't going to be opening in Dorico or Sibelius smoothly. It's going to go through XML or MIDI or something like that. So for me, I find that a little counterintuitive. So when I use my iPad, I actually just get some manuscript paper, whether it's custom manuscript or the one built in in the app called GoodNotes. And I just write like an old fashioned guy. So yeah. I was writing a bunch of different melodies on the iPad, one for the cells, which are the little light things that were floating around and dividing throughout the film. I was planning to write one for the rabbit and one for the protagonist, the girl. But I ended up not really using any of those melodies. There was one melody which ended up kind of becoming the main melody, which I'm very proud of because I just came up with it on the spot. I think in the final version, there were some notes that were moved around and it wasn't exactly the notes I had written down there, but essentially it was 99% there. Action. All the other melodies were kind of within the right ballpark and they really helped me to get started and find that sound world that I could then refine. But it turned out I didn't actually like the melodies. It wasn't that the melodies were bad, it just didn't seem to really work with the picture the way I imagined it might. So eventually, once I had some decent amounts of themes and stuff, I took it into Dorico and I started writing in there and writing. And more and more, more despair. It was so hard and eventually I decided my brain can't take anymore. I need to pack up and go. It was getting late and going from Brooklyn back to Queens would take a while. So I decided I give up for now. I'm going home. No luck. I suppose like two and a half minutes, but I'm not too happy with it. Okay, that's the end of day one. It is now 9.30 and I am exhausted. My brain is fried. I don't think I can write any more music, but I need to do a lot more. I'm very worried. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyways, in a moment you'll join me for day two. Finding the perfect sound world that wasn't quite thriller or horror but mysterious and kind of dark as the director was telling me it was supposed to be without the use of any synths and just using a pure live orchestra, it was very difficult to find the right sound. And eventually I ended up kind of taking John Williams's Close Encounters of the Third Kind as a bit of a reference where he has a lot of really atonal sections in it and he has the ending which is very atonal and he has something in between. And that was what I kind of took as a reference as a kind of launching point. And the funny thing is, those harmonies that I had kind of derived that two note oscillating figure off of ended up sounding a lot like the second half of the Rite of Spring and also like the Saturn movement of Host's Planets and also a lot of general like Ravel and Debussy stuff. 
Yeah, there's nothing new under the sun. It's really just about how you use all this existing material and make it your own in your own context. So yeah, John Williams is a hack that copies classical masters, whatever, but he makes it work in his movies. And hopefully that is something that I was able to do too. Me too. I had other commitments today, so I didn't get to write much at all. Wrote a couple of measures in the morning. It's now like five o'clock. I just bought some uh, BBQ chicken, my favorite. Hopefully I can get a lot of work done tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, it's so tight. <sighs> See you tomorrow. So day three was a Sunday, which means church day for me. I was serving on the worship team as a singer that day. That means I would have to spend a little extra time at church. That also meant I would have a lot less time to write the piece. Luckily, the service starts at 4 o'clock, which meant I had all of the morning and most of the afternoon to write. Because I had most of the morning and the afternoon, I was writing a lot, but I ended up only getting to maybe two and a half to three minutes of the piece, which is not even halfway through. But my brain was fried, I couldn't write anymore, so I decided to leave the church a little earlier. And because I had that extra time, I decided to visit Central Park. Currently at Central Park, trying to get some inspiration. Day three. After the church service, because we were at the end of the semester, the small group meetings we've been doing at church after the service, it was our last day, which meant we were going to go out and have some really nice food. We ended up going to a Michelin star Korean restaurant, which was a first for me. It was called Chodankor, and half of my brain at the time was thinking, oh my gosh, this food is so good. And then the other half of my brain was thinking, oh, what am I going to do? I need to write. I have no idea what I'm going to do. It's due tomorrow in the morning and I feel so screwed. I don't know what I'm going to do. We're at the end of day three. It is Sunday night or Monday, I guess, three o'clock in the morning. I usually don't stay up this late. I consider sleep very important today. Always schedule around it. Almost done the piece. Can't believe I actually made it through six minutes. There's still like a little eight, ten measure gap in the middle that I still need to fill. But I'm so tired and sleepy. I think I'm gonna go to bed and hopefully wake up early and be able to write something before 10 a.m. So the piece is definitely not done, but I got it to the point where it is presentable. We are exporting now. I was actually able to fully compose in Dorico this time, which was a completely new thing for me. I had written smaller things, but this was my first full large ensemble piece written start to finish in Dorico. And I was very proud of myself. And the really nice thing about Dorico, by the time I had to submit the piece, I was still writing. Like I was still in the middle of it. I had a double bar line, but I still had a lot of orchestrating to do. And by the time it was 10 a.m., I just had to submit what I had, right? There was a week of revisions, which meant that I could make changes and add orchestration and stuff afterwards. At that point, I had done zero engraving, zero layout formatting stuff. But Dorico is so smart and intelligent that it looks fantastic even without any manual editing. So all I did was export into PDF and upload, and it looked great. It wasn't perfect, of course, a lot of editing to do. If I had to get a score of that quality done in Sibelius or uh, any other program, it would have taken a lot of manual work. And the condensing feature was amazing. I loved Oracle. Oh, it was a long journey and it's definitely not over. For now, I really need to take a break and submit this. And then I'm off to the Midwest Clinic very soon. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, happy ending-ish. 
Thank you for following me on this process. I'll update you on how the revisions go and eventually next April when we actually do the performance, I'll definitely probably upload at least parts of it to the channel. I'm really excited to see that and all the rehearsal processing. This was much of an interesting video in the end, I guess, because I didn't really show you anything. But yeah, this is all I could make this week. So I hoped it really helped you guys to see a facet of my compositional process. Every composition is so different. I might be working directly into Logic, directly into Sibelius, in this case Dorico with a bit of hand sketching, but this is just one method that I use to do a really quick orchestral project. Ah. If this video helped you, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. I have a lot of stuff with the Midwest Clinic to come now. Right now I'm actually in Chicago in the Hilton Hotel here. It's been a really enriching experience, so stay tuned for that. This has been D.I.D. Choi. Like and subscribe. See ya.